Hello my loves, Tony here from Teal Yarn Crafts and welcome back to my channel. So I have a little confession to make. I am this close to maxing out my stash. The biggest issue is all of the single skeins and leftover little bits of yarn that are just taking up so much space and I have no idea what to do with them. And who knows, if you're watching this video, maybe you're in the same boat. Hey, I'm Tony, nice to meet ya. So maybe you have yarn left over from a project, maybe you have a single skein that you found at the yarn store that you couldn't leave there, or maybe somebody gifted you a single skein of yarn and they just didn't know any better. Either way, single skeins are inevitable and thankfully hope is not lost. I have crawled the internet and found 65 amazing projects that you can make with a single skein of yarn. Now get your pen and paper ready because this is gonna go quick. I've broken up these projects into four categories. That's home, accessories, wearables, and quick gifts. I've got timestamps for each of those categories down below so you can skip to the area that you wanna crochet the most. Now, if that sounds like a good time, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel for more crochet inspiration, patterns, and product reviews. Now, before we talk projects, we have to give some love to our Cup of Caffeine sponsor, and I'm gonna need to get a refill, good gracious. Now, a few videos ago, I talked about my dog, Pepper, who was having some trouble sleeping through some really bad storms that we had here, and so many of you told me about the Thunder shirt. But today's Cup of Caffeine sponsor, Joe Hudson of Arlington, Virginia, was very specific and made sure I got that Thunder shirt. When donating, Joe said, making a donation for you to get your fur baby, Pepper Boy, a thunder shirt for stormy nights. My dearly departed Yorkie boy, Bailey, needed one and it worked wonders for him. Thank you so much, Joe, for the donation. I was able to get a thunder shirt for Pepper and I have to say he freaking loved it. We had a few more of those summer storms and he slept straight through them this time. So huge kudos to you, Joe. Thank you so much for the gift from my Pepper Boy. Now, if you like my videos and wanna support my channel, buy me a coffee. Who knows, I might shout you out in the next one. Now let's talk one skein projects. Let's kick things off with clothing and number one is gonna be a bikini top. Now how far you get with one skein is gonna depend on the size of your girls, but if you keep it simple, just a couple of triangles with chains in between, you should be able to make something super cute with one skein. Bikini bottoms. Now these are super cute and there are tons of patterns available online. I love the idea of making these with like a skein of cotton yarn that's a little bit crazy that you don't know what to do with. A tube top. Now I've seen these made bottom up, but I recommend making them side to side with a stretchy stitch just for a little bit more security. And you can up the security even more by putting a chain right around the neck to make sure that top stays up. A cropped tank. Now I've seen these made bottom up and side to side as well. Either way, have some fun with it. If you've got a second skein, play around with like a checker pattern or maybe some color blocking. A mini skirt. Now when it comes to making a mini skirt, definitely focus on the closure that's gonna keep the skirt up around your hips. You can have some fun with a zipper or just do a simple button closure. Just remember that crochet shade does stretch, so what fits you today might be a little too stretched out next time. A mesh tank. I absolutely love these because it helps you get a little bit more mileage out of just that one skein. So whip one up and pair it with pieces out of your own wardrobe for something really cute for festivals and concerts. Let's move on to home decor, starting with coasters. Now this is always what comes to mind for stash busting for me. Grab a few different colors, make an entire set, bada boom, bada bing, and you're clearing out your stash. Placemats. Because we're all adults and we want to protect our furniture, so make a set of placemats to change out with the seasons or put a few colors together for really nice gifts. A mini rug. Now this one is really nice if you've got some novelty yarn, maybe some blanket yarn, some faux fur, some velvet. I have a small one of these right next to my bed and it feels so luxurious when I first wake up and my toesies are super warm. Crochet flowers. Now these are massively huge right now and I love it, especially for the babes that can't keep real flowers alive. And you can make just about anything. Roses, daisies, lavender, make a whole bunch of them, put them in a little bud vase next to your desk for an instant mood boost. Planter covers. Now I really like these if you have just some plain old terracotta pots with your favorite plants in them, cover up those pots and then you've got something that fits a little better in your home decor. Hanging planters. Now these are great if you've got a stronger yarn, like some cotton, some twine, something like that. Work with a tighter gauge to make sure that the hanging planter doesn't sag. Crochet house plants. Now this one is really fun because you can crochet the pot, the soil, and the plant. Yeah, this is gonna take a few different colors, but I've got a feeling you have the right ones laying in your stash. Door curtains. 
Now this trend is definitely coming back and I am so excited to see it. There are a couple different versions of this, ones that go from the top to the bottom of the door opening and some that just frame the very top of the door opening. But either way, you'll make an entrance in the cutest way possible. Washcloths. Now you can probably get two to three washcloths out of a full single skein of yarn. Just make sure you're using a plant-based fiber like a cotton, linen, maybe a blend. These yarns are gonna wash really well and maintain their color. Bag savers. So this one, blew my mind because when I moved into my house, I bought a bag saver and I'm like, duh, I could have just crocheted one. Now you can make one that's a tube, just like the commercially available ones, or you can get really cute and fun with the shapes. This one is a mushroom and it is adorable. A tissue box cover. Now just hear me out. These got a really bad rep because they used to be super ugly, but I think people are doing really cute things with them right now. So you can pick one that matches your style, go super modern, go a little bit more kitschy or go full on maximalist and do something cute and really out of the box. Just have some fun with it. Pot holders. Yes, an obvious choice for using up yarn is gonna be pot holders, but here are two tips to make sure they're actually usable. One, go with a plant-based fiber, specifically cotton, and two, make that pot holder thick, either by using a thicker stitch or by doubling up the thickness of that pot holder. That way the heat won't transfer so well and you're gonna protect your hands. A crochet organizer. You can use this in so many different ways. Hang one on the back of the chair in your car for snacks for your kids, put one in your office for pens, pencils, and post-its, or you can put one in your closet to organize your jewelry. Nesting trays. Now I love that you can have fun with the color and the shape of these, put little accents on them. Wherever your mind goes, you can put it on a nesting tray and then store things like stitch markers, paper clips, whatever you got hanging around, you can put it in a nesting tray. Wall hangings. Now if you're really trying to make a wall hanging with just one skein of yarn, you can play around with textured stitches or different finishing methods like tassels and fringe. Crochet garlands. Now this is a trend that keeps coming back and I'm so glad it does because it's a nice piece of flair that you can add to your decor. And you can make your garland out of anything, granny squares, flowers, leaves, like whatever your mind can come up with, you can make a garland with it. Last but not least in this category is stool covers. I recommend starting from the center out. That way you can customize the size of your cover without making it too big or too small. Moving right along into accessories, we're starting off with the classic beanie. Fall is right around the corner, so you can make some scrappy beanies for friends or add some little ears to make them super cute. Wristers and fingerless gloves. I get so cold in my office, I really need to make some of these for myself. Ear warmers, this is such a cute idea, I love this. You can make a bunch of these, maybe one for you and all of your besties, then go to the pumpkin patch, have a cute little photo shoot. Thank me later, y'all have a great time. Triangle scarves and shawls. This one is really nice for when the weather cools down. Just start making a triangle and continue stitching till you run out of yarn, easy peasy. Bandanas. Now this is giving major cottage core vibes and I love this as a first timer project because you can use it as soon as you're done stitching it. Bandana cowls. Now this is a trend that is becoming more popular in crochet, which I'm excited about because these are super easy to make and easy to wear. Whatever yarn you got, just throw it at this project. Crochet earrings. I love this one because anything can be an earring. Hearts, stars, flowers, even monstera leaves. And if you like hoops like I do, go get some cheap ones from the beauty supply and start stitching. Bracelets. Now I love this one because it can go one of two ways. Make them thin, delicate, dainty, or go more boho chic by making them thicker. Add things like buttons or glitter. You can really start clearing out stash for multiple different projects with bracelets. A knot bag. Now there's not too many bags you can make with one skein of yarn, but you can get pretty far on a knot bag by keeping those stitches simple. Leg warmers. I like these because you can really customize them. If you only have a little bit of yarn, maybe just make the little boot cuffs that go on top of your boots. But if you have more yarn, you can make leg warmers that go from your ankle all the way up to your knee hair ribbons and bows. When I started seeing these a few years ago, especially worn on adults, I was like, oh my God, that is so cute. It adds a lot of sweetness to the outfit and you can wear bows like this a million different ways. Bucket hats. Now I love this one because once you get the general structure of a bucket hat down, you can make it with any yarn in your stash. I really like the ones that are made with thinner yarn, but consider making one with chunky yarn for a really nice autumn vibe. Headbands. So I really like these for bad hair days or when you wanna accessorize without getting too crazy. You can make it just crocheted on its own and tie it around your head or get some of those plastic forms and crochet around those for a really cool idea. Collars. 
Now I've seen two very distinct styles of these. There have been those really nice lacy ones that lay on your shoulders, and I've seen ones that come up a little bit higher on the neck. It's giving cosplay, it's giving old Victorian. I love them both, so you pick one that fits your style. Balaclavas. Now I can't tell if this trend is over and dead. Y'all are gonna have to let me know in the comments, but you can crochet a balaclava with just one skein of yarn. You'll probably need to leave your face open, but at least you won't ruin your lipstick. Decorative belts. Now I might be the only one that feels this way, but I think crochet belts are super cute and we don't wear them enough. Imagine a crochet belt with a pair of cutoffs, throw in a boot, make it a whole cowgirl moment, lean into it. Scarf. So this one is super duper easy. Just start with a chain, the width of the scarf that you want, and then keep crocheting until you run out of that skein of yarn. This is a really nice way to use up that extra yarn, but to also play around with some different and new to you stitches. A cowl or a snood. This is basically the same concept as a scarf, but you're gonna make that starting chain a little bit longer, crochet until the whole thing can fit comfortably around your head, sew the short sides together, and you've got a cowl. Bow ties and neckties. Now I know when you start to think about these, you're thinking about them being cute on babies, but imagine them on adults. Like go street style more than corporate so you don't look like you're about to walk into somebody's office. Let's move on to gifts and quick makes, starting with face scrubbies. Now I have a allergy to silicone, so I like to use these handmade scrubbies. Just put a little textured stitch on one side to give you a little bit more exfoliation, and then you can pop these right in the wash. A water bottle holder. Now this is a really cool idea if you need to be hands-free. Just make sure that you don't put too heavy of a bottle in there so you don't stretch out the strap. Cup cozies. Now I absolutely love these because in the fall, I am always going out to my favorite coffee shop to get something to drink. I keep my cup cozy in my purse so when I do go to Starbucks, I can tell them to keep the paper sleeve. Device sleeves. Now these work perfectly for laptops, e-readers, tablets, whatever device you have, you can make a sleeve for it. Keychains. Now this is a really fun idea because keychains can look like anything. I personally like the ones that are a rope that you can put around your wrist, but you can make these whatever shape that you like. Go get some split rings from the craft store and go crazy. Zipper pouches. Now these are great for holding anything from crochet hooks to spare change. Whatever you need held, you can put it in a zipper pouch. Get a really sharp hook and start stitching right off of the zipper, then you don't have to do a bunch of sewing later. Scrunchies. Now I made these for my craft show booth way back in the day and they were always the first thing to sell out. I personally think this trend should never die out. They're so cute with novelty yarns like faux fur and velvet. Photo frames. Now you can build these off existing frames, but I like to get the metal rings from the craft store and stitch off of those. Drawstring pouches. Now I adore these because again, they can look like anything. I've just seen normal ones that are stitched in the round. I've seen ones work like granny squares. I've even seen one that looks like candy corn. You can have a lot of fun with these. Book covers. Now I really like these for travel or maybe your book is just a fancy lady and she needs her own outfit. Whatever the reason, cover that book. It'll be super cute. A dog harness. Now I had never seen a crochet dog harness before preparing for this video, but now that I have, I can't get them out of my head. Just know that they're gonna work better for small dogs because then big dogs be doing too much. Tiny plushies. I absolutely love this idea because you can put a tiny plushie anywhere. Put it on your bookshelf, put it on your desk, hang it from your rear view mirror in your car. I'd recommend looking up some no-sew plushie ideas to make this even easier. Charger cord covers. Now we all have that one friend who swears up and down that that's her charger, but now you can settle the debate. Crochet yours with just simple stitches or get a little bit more exciting with it, making it a vine with flowers and leaves. Pet toys. Now these are my absolute favorite go-to when I have small bits of yarn. You can just make a little square, fold it in half, fill it with fiber fill and sew it up. For dogs, you can add a little squeaker and for cats, put in some catnip for a special treat. Card holders and wallets. Now I found some really cool patterns for these. They even have little pocket sleeves for your cards. Just make sure you crochet with a tighter gauge so your valuables don't slip out. Phone pouch bags. Now these are really cool because they're usually just big enough for your phone, maybe a bank card and a key. All the important things that you need for a day out hands-free. A bookmark. 
Now this one is a super fun gift idea. Crochet your bookmark, slip it inside the latest bestseller, slap a bow on it for a teacher or a neighbor. A can cozy. Now I am still shook by all the different patterns and ideas that are out here for can cozies. I personally like the idea of making several of these for whenever I have parties, then you'll be able to find which drink is yours. A trinket dish. Now this one is really fun to keep next to your computer, next to your sink in the kitchen, or to keep on your nightstand to hold on to your valuables. Slipper socks. Now I'm personally not a huge fan of crochet socks, but I do love a good slipper sock. Make it with thicker yarn and then put little dots of hot glue on the bottom to make sure you don't slip. A cat hat. Now I'm not talking about these adorable hats, which you probably could make with one skein, but I'm talking about these adorable hats made for cats. I'm personally a fan of the sombrero, but I could get down with a flower hat too. Soap savers. These are essentially little drawstring pouches specifically for soap that you can use in the shower. I personally used these all through college and I loved them. And last but not least, a pencil holder. I am on a mission to add more crochet into the decor of my office and a pencil holder is perfect. You essentially make it just like a basket, but smaller, just make sure it's sturdy enough to hold up to all of those good pens and pencils. And there you have it, my love, 65 perfect projects for that one special skein of yarn. I hope you're gonna put this list to very good use. Now I would like to know which of these projects are you going to make first and which of these projects would you never ever make? Sound off down in the comments. If you've made it this far, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Those two little things do so much for what I'm trying to accomplish here on YouTube. And if you have ideas for my next video, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.